Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting project related to image processing or computer vision and that is cryptography. Okay, so already in my previous video, I have discussed in detail about image steganography, which is hiding a data, which is basically our secret message inside another information that another information can be one dummy carrier image. Okay, so hiding our secret message in carrier image, transmitting that is nothing but image steganography. Regarding this steganography technique, I have already discussed in detail with in-depth mathematical intuition and programming from scratch in this particular video. I will be providing this video link in the description box. If you want to know this particular concept in detail, you can go through that. Okay. Here I have provided the programming part as well, which I am going to use in my this particular video also. I am not going to discuss this steganography part again because it will be nothing but a waste of time. If I discuss the same thing in this particular video you can easily refer already uh, this uh, uploaded this video and know that okay so what is cryptography then cryptography requires a key which is basically used to convert the message into a format which cannot be understood by hacker or third party okay so like let me give you one simple example as you know image is nothing but one matrix Binary image or grayscale images are 2D matrix and color images are 3D matrix. Okay, mostly we use RGB format, red channel, green channel, blue channel like that. Now consider any particular pixel whose intensity is 200. We will not simply use this particular pixel value while doing cryptography. In cryptography, there should be one secret key which is only known uh, from the sender and this the particular person who is going to receive the message only these two person know the secret key suppose the secret key is 150 okay and from sender side what sender will do so that the other uh, people cannot understand that particular message he will be subtracting the key 150 from the original pixel and the after subtraction the result will be 50 the sender will transmit this 50, this particular pixel intensity, okay? In the receiver, when the receiver will receive this pixel intensity 50, he knows that sender has subtracted 150 and then transmitted so that hacker cannot understand this, okay? But to make it understandable for the receiver, receiver will add 150, that is reverse operation what is done in the sender side, okay? And he will be getting, he or she will be getting back 200 and he will understand the actual message. So that is nothing but cryptography is all about. Like this can be addition, subtraction, bit and big so bit or or bit x or b bit x nor like that different algorithms can be used to encrypt our message using the secret key. But the condition is secret key should be known in the sender and the receiver side and whatever operation sender will do the reverse counter operation has to be done in the uh, receiver side as well to get back the original message signal that's it okay so this is cryptography so cryptography is used to convert the message into such format where the hackers cannot understand and steganography's intention is not that steganography is simply hiding the data inside another information okay like hiding a message signal inside another uh, information that can be one carrier signal okay so when like i have discussed lsb based steganography if we apply reverse algorithm in the receiver then directly we can get the message signal okay or secret message that's it now let us try to understand the cryptography like this kind of application we'll try to do in matlab so the complete chain will be like this i'll be having my secret message i will first encrypt that and the encryption algorithm will be I will be having my secret key. I will be performing B twice XOR with all the pixels of our image. Okay, that will be my encryption technique. Like here, I have used simple addition subtraction. There, I will be using bit XOR operation. Why? I am going to discuss after some time. Then this encrypted message and the carrier image will be taking, will be applying steganography, LSB based steganography. Then we will be passing that via channel. Okay, so suppose one hacker try to hack in this particular place. He will be getting that particular image which is first encrypted and then steganography is applied, right? Now suppose he knows that in, in this particular channel whatever image he or she is getting that is basically nothing but 
LSV based steganography image. So he can apply reverse steganography, but then also he or she will not get the exact secret message because that is encrypted. Okay, so he has to decrypt that, and for decryption purpose, he or she should know the key using which encryption is done in the uh, sender side. But he or she don't know the secret uh, key. Okay, which is basically used for encryption purpose and. Uh, that as a result the hacker cannot read that message but in the receiver side the person has to re read the message that's why first reverse steganography will be applied so as soon as reverse steganography will be applied the in the receiver side the person will be getting the encrypted message then he or she need to perform decryption like here adding 150 to get back the original message similarly the decryption algorithm has to be used and then only he or she will be getting the secret message signal so this is the complete chain which i am going to show you now what i have told you here i have given one simple example of our uh, cryptography using uh, subtracting 150 at the sender side adding 150 in the receiver side now for this particular programming purpose i am going to use bit xor as our encryption technique let me show you why i am using this if you observe in this particular addition subtraction technique in the receiver and sender side opposite action is performed like in sender side subtraction is performed in the receiver side addition is performed but if we are applying xor for encryption then in receiver and sender both side only xor is needed let me discuss you with the example it will be clear to you Suppose my original message is 00110101, okay? And the particular secret key which I am using for encryption is 11100011, okay? Tell me what is the bit XOR result? Very simple, 01, I am doing from MSB, okay? So 01 will be what? 01 will be 1, okay? 01 will be 1. 1 1 will be 0, 0 1 will be 1, 0 0 will be 0, 0 1 will be 1, 0 1 will be 1, 1 1 will be 0. That's it, right? Then suppose this is the encrypted image, right? Now steganography will be applied. Now when we will be applying reverse steganography, we will be getting back this, this particular pixel. Then this is our secret message, right? Which the receiver also knows just put that same here and now again apply bit xor okay so 1101010111 see this one 00110101001001 so this is let me write here secret message this is key which is only known to sender and receiver side this is XOR encrypted message this is key and again I am applying XOR only and here as a result I am getting right decrypted original message signal this one and you can see this one are same only so the advantage of using bit xor for encryption technique is in the sender and in the receiver side we can use same uh, algorithm only xor that's it okay so let me go through the code the code is going to be very simple because in encryption here we have to apply xor so you know the formula right bit xor of a comma b like that we can do for image processing bit xor operation already in detail i have discussed while discussing the logical operation in images okay so all these fundamentals of image processing has to be very cleared now the question comes how can we generate this key okay let me discuss that the key generation is going to be very simple i am going to use land function for this key generation okay if you just write land you will be getting like this 0 0.4822 again i am writing rand i'll be getting some different value okay now we require the random number having same size that is that many number of rows that many number of columns as of our secret image okay right so like 
just have a quick recap suppose you want to create one matrix suppose 4 cross 4 you want to create you can simply use rand 4 comma 4 so we are getting this value but you can see these values are not integer okay and b texture we have to do in unsigned integer 8 bit representation domain so i will be converting to uint 8 rand 4 comma 4 okay simple i will be getting back this one but see these are 0 and 1 only so xor with uh, our original pixel index if we do for this particular pixel that will not change much okay there is a possibility that that can be decrypted by hacker so what we will do we will be basically multiplying the maximum pixel intensity possible for grayscale image for unsigned integer 8 bit representation 255 and if we multiply see the beauty we are getting quite different different values and this one b twice x or we can do pixel by pixel with respect to our message signal then we can basically apply lsp based steganography and the pipeline can be completed okay so this particular algorithm we are going to use to generate our secret key okay so clearing this now going to this particular code what is this particular code this is nothing but the same code which i have used to explain the lsp based steganography okay I am not explaining that just I am showing you the result to give you a quick recap that what was done earlier from the outcome here in the figure window the outcomes will be shown it will be taking some time okay so here we are getting this is our carrier image this is our secret image okay and this is our segmented image this segmented image has not changed that much with respect to our carrier image even after looking this particular image you cannot differentiate in between this one and this one but actually in this particular image this particular secret message is hidden and how this is working i have told you if you change the lsp bit the overall pixel intensity change will not be that much okay and in the carrier image for lsp part we are replacing with the msp of our secret message okay and in the receiver side we are extracting the msp part and we are getting back our basically secret message right so this is what is our lsp steganography algorithm here what changes are done let me discuss so now clc clear all close all warning off this is our actual code for cryptography as well as steganography okay so imre title test image dot png okay so this is our carrier image and then I am reading our secret image. Now to do this encryption, decryption and uh, LSP based steganography on our carrier image, obviously message and carrier should have same size. So basically I am calculating the size of our carrier signal and transforming our message signal with same size using IM resize function. I am extracting the red channel, green channel, blue channel of our carrier signal. Similarly extracting red channel, green channel, blue channel of our message signal. This is required for steganography as well as cryptography in this particular case because this particular red channel of message signal should be applied LSP steganography with the red channel of our carrier. Green channel of message signal should be done LSP steganography with green channel of carrier like that. Okay. But before doing steganography, here I am generating the secret keys. Okay. UINT8 and R, C. That is same size as of our message signal or carrier signal multiplied by 255. The same logic which just now I have discussed. This is our secret image. Sorry, secret key we can say. Right. And sorry. Then here we are applying bit XOR with our message signal red channel green channel blue channel and the same secret key we are using for encrypting all the channels right and then giving next title you can use subplot no issue but next title in if you are using next title you no need to bother where it will be mapped matlab will map that in proper order and it will arrange beautifully so this is one new function which is better to use instead of subplot so i am using that if you want to know the detailed explanation of next title you can refer the documentation link will be provided in the description box okay then i am basically concatenating red channel green channel blue channel of encrypted version okay so this is basically encrypted secret message then this particular part is basically for uh, applying lsb steganography for our red channel 
this particular part is for LSB steganography of green channel and this particular part is for applying LSB steganography of our blue channel. Then concatenating red steganography, green steganography and blue steganography. This is final steganography image. Okay which we are showing here final stick okay then in the receiver side what we have to do in the receiver side we have to basically apply reverse steganography okay so here we are extracting the planes first plane for red steganography second plane for green steganography third plane for blue steganography like that and here we are applying reverse steganography okay here we are applying reverse steganography for uh, basically here green channel and this one is for blue channel okay then here so here you can see that once all the reverse technography for all the channels are done we are basically concatenating and this is our recovered encrypted image not original image okay because we have applied encryption then applied steganography so if you are applying reverse technography you are going back getting back the encrypted signal so again in the receiver side we have to apply bit xor okay this bit xor is doing what bit xor is used for decryption and then we are combining red band green band and blue band and we are getting our basically decrypted secret message okay so basically using this encryption and decryption combining as well as steganography and reverse steganography we are completing our whole communication which is very much secured because here the power of uh, steganography as well as cryptography we are using and this particular secret keys what we are generating here okay this one will change each time because this is rand okay matlab will change this each time so basically whatever we are using in the receiver side same sk should be used in this decryption purpose in the right hand side and you can see the output very beautifully we are getting this is our carrier image this is our secret message image direct input then the secret image we are basically encrypting what we have done we have extracted three different planes we have applied our secret key bit xor operation we have done and we are getting this encrypted secret image from here itself before applying this steganography itself using only cryptography we are unable to read this then we applied lsp based steganography so this is segmented image in this segmented image actually this particular encrypted secret message is hidden now when you are applying reverse steganography you are getting back the re the recovered encrypted message okay after applying steganography and this is our decrypted secret message so this one and this one are almost same just due to application of encryption decryption that is cryptography along with steganography the quality is little bit decreased but that is not an issue we can still read this properly opportunity did not knock until i built a door okay same secret message we are getting here so this is combiningly uh, becoming completing our project on cryptography part i hope you have enjoyed the only thing which we have added that is xor in the uh, sender and receiver side that's it and i hope the whole pipeline of this particular secured communication is clear to you this is all for my this video code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you